Hi everyone, bonjour. Rachel here from Déjà Vu Thrifting. We, uh, it's beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Today, spring is in the air. I'm looking, it is seven degrees. <laughs> seven degrees, we are very happy. And uh, today we will be going to a uh, Mission Thrift Store. It is uh, Tuesday, it is Seniors Day discount at 25%. So, we will be on the lookout for the colors of the day. Uh, for uh, one color is 25%, the other one is 50 So, I'm taking advantage of uh, these super duper reductions and uh, buy some treasures to flip for profit on eBay and Etsy. So, let's get there and start shopping. Allons-y! Okay, Senior 60 plus 25 percent easter 50 percent clearance room 75 percent hmm that's interesting and it's yellow 50 percent and 25 percent green got all kinds of baskets frames that's nice got a couple of chips though very glazed, uh, not glazed, crazed, and it's a nesting one, but the middle, the middle one doesn't have uh, its lid. Three ninety nine. No, we'll pass on that. Oh, it's a nice cutout, almost like a silhouette. One ninety nine. Not much on those shelves. Okay, there's some clear glasses and candle holders. I like this green one here. There's only one. Oh, there's some cordial glasses. I love those. They sell very well for me. That's $1.99 and it's 50%. That's the cute little purple one. Hmm. So it would be like a dollar each. They seem to be in good condition too. Oh, that one's $1.49. I wonder if uh, this. One ninety nine. Those two. Okay, one ninety nine. And one ninety nine. So those four together, and maybe those two separate. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's put those in. And here we go. Voila. And there's two more. Those are small. Anything with a colored uh, glass bottom uh, for uh, bar glasses, um, they sell quickly for me, so I always pick those up. Keep on going. There's someone there, so. Now that tea set was there a while ago, and so was this one. Okay, I think those are modern, they're Ikea, I believe. There's a single one, that's too bad. Oh, 
are these coasters? They're ceramic tiles. They could be used as coasters. Oh, but there's a thing to hang them on the wall. Huh. At 99 cents with my 25%, so it would be 75 each. New Orleans. They all go together. That's really nice. I'll pick those up. Oh, that's cheap plastic. Yeah. Now we have a cute little crackle glass bowl. Very nice. Seems to be in very good condition. The edges cut straight, but um, there's no chips at all. So let's grab that. What else can I find in the clear glass? Our famous wall of mugs, 99 cents. When someone moves in, like a student, and it's a brand new house or a brand new apartment, you can come here and find a complete set of six or eight um, mugs that matches. It's perfect. So I didn't find anything in the mugs that I like, so we'll keep on going. We have plates here and bowls. The aisles are not very big. Oh, that's too bad. I wish there was a, a third part with that one. Pots and pans. Nothing too exciting that I can see, except I see Pyrex right here, and gee, it's in great condition with vegetables. Everything, there's no scratches, very good condition, $7.99, and we can see right there, Pyrex, yeah, price is good, so Let's grab that. They always sell very well for me. More on Etsy than eBay for that one, I'd say. Beautiful. All kinds of metal molds and baking dish. Plain white dishes. Oh, that's a glass bake divided dish. Sadly, they don't sell for that much, so it's like around 15 to 18. It's a, oh, it's a cheese dish, I think. Tim Horton cans. And then we'll take a look at the cutlery things here. It's not very big. Oh, that's a whole set in here. 33 pieces. And I would say that is stainless steel. It's very heavy. And definitely vintage from the look of it. Hmm. Can't see through the bag. Who makes it? No, my eyes are failing me again. <laughs> we have little 
What? Oh, <laughs> whoops. Let's put that back in. What have I done? So little tea lights here. Larger face, candles. Those are cute. I think they're from Avon. Oh, this is interesting. It's like a single coaster. Carol. Carol made that. Figurines. Oh, look at that chicken. <laughs> I picked up something similar. And it's, it's for sale right now uh, on my stores. Um, not glossy or anything, and it's skinnier. It looks backwards as well. It's really a funny chicken. But, um, yeah, for that price, I think I'll leave it for someone else. That's a cute little white cactus. Oh, it's a light. Let's turn that on. Oh, that's cute. Could actually be a nightlight in a cowboy uh, theme bedroom for a child. Hmm. There's not a lot of things today that I'm attracted to. Could it be one of my off days? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing special. No markings here. That's interesting. But there's some damage. So we have wood section, which is very small. It's a cute little box, but it's, it's engraved mother. We have different things here. Oh, that's a cute little kangaroo. It's got some. Uh, Little bling bling in the eyes there. That's cute. Uh, what are those? What is this for? That's cute. That's oh, it opens up. Oh, it's like a little box. Fifty-nine cents. Fifty cents. Okay. Is there a marking there? No, nothing. I think I'm going to take that. It's just too sweet for that price. Huh. And then this is... What on earth is that? Huh. I have no idea. If anyone knows what this is, please comment below. Maybe that thing... Maybe that goes inside? No. <laughs> hey, can't blame a girl for trying. So in the little boutique at the back, I found those two wine glasses with the green colored stem. I'm definitely picking those up. That's nice too. And me. Oh, that's Carol again. <laughs> Carol made a couple of pieces. So those glasses were $149. I was in the clothes. I picked up a few pieces for baby G. And then I saw those beautiful placemats. Look at these. I mean the camera I don't think will bring the full uh, punch of the color. They're from Blossom and Blooms. Look at, at that. It's beautiful. Um, pastel 
colors and it's a weave pattern totally washable $4.99 hmm could it be for Easter or summer let's grab those now someone in the back has gone for pricing for something and I happen to be looking down at the shoes I saw these um, actually for myself <laughs> but they're too small they're a size 6 and they're in superb condition look at the heel no markings or anything and um, $11.99 but if I get them for resale I mean I'm paying $9 for them so that's good I think, yeah, we'll take those for resale. And then there's these. They are women's loafers, Clark's bendables. These seem to be in very nice condition as well. Nice shiny, shiny um, material. I don't think it's leather though. Yeah, very nice. I'll grab those. Yeah, let's put those in the cart. Maybe I'll get lucky. I don't usually sell shoes. But let's keep looking. You never know. See, those are Nikes. Nike shoes seem to be in good condition. Except I think yeah I see a big crack yeah no that's no good we should always do the cracking test let's let's do that here with the bendables no cracks this one let's try this one no cracks good good to go there's some cowboy boots they're all squished up. I think these have seen better days. Oh yeah, underneath it's all uh, a little too much usage. We'll leave those there. And then those men loafers. I think in better condition, they would do well. Underneath it's not too bad, but the top has a lot of uh, rubbing of the fabric and it's gray. So I think I'll take I'll leave those. Okay, I was about to go to the cash and then I stopped and saw this nice bracelet. It's got a good weight to it and um, it's definitely faux turquoise, three dollars minus. 25% so that's good we'll look to see if there's anything else usually I don't find much uh, but <laughs> this bracelet just pop. that's cute I'm always on the lookout for vintage jewelry that are made with Bakelite lots of collectors are uh, seeking those pieces of jewelry but no luck today okay little update um, about my thrifting expedition just now um, <laughs> poor thing I went to the cash and you know uh, in the video where you'll see me pick up uh, different um, cordial glasses there's uh, two short green ones there's a couple of long stem blue ones and then there's a set of four all different uh, shapes and colors well as this uh, very young poor thing uh, young boy no more than 15 or 16 he's at the cash and um, he's wrapping them up and he I don't know he moved a little too quickly and since those glasses are more like top heavy um, he knocked one off and it fell to the floor and it broke and it was my favorite it was the uh, the smallest of them all cone shape top was purple Oh, I was so sad, but I didn't react. And this poor guy was on the verge of crying. He kept apologizing. And he said, now you're stuck with only three. You had a set of four. I said, it's okay. Don't worry. 
don't worry, I'll manage, I'll figure something out. I still want them. And um, I didn't dare say anything because I saw he felt so bad. And then he had problems with my um, discounts. He was brand new. He was very, very green and learning. And I think um, I heard just before I hit the cash, I think I heard the person who was training him say, okay, I'm going to leave you on your own for a little bit. <laughs> And it had to be me. But anyway, um, good thing that I just learned the tickets that were 50% off. And then I have my senior citizens 25% off. Well, those things, I got them for 75% off. I thought it was one or the other, not both. But apparently, admission, they give you both. So that's very interesting. And um, I'm going to go there more often on Tuesdays uh, and look for the sticker of the day. Um, it was 50% uh, on yellow today, plus the 25%. I, I'm, I'm freaking out. But anyway, it, it was good. It was very, very good. So we're going to go home and we're going to look at all this stuff. I'll debrief you on that. And um, yeah, so let's go home. Check that out. Okay, we are back home, and this is the haul for our latest trip to uh, Mission Thrift Store. And I just want to say, look, I got my nails done <laughs> from when you saw me in the car. So that's good. It'll be a little bit prettier because I don't really like my hands. So since I show them on camera, now I'm more conscious. Um, so, okay, let's get serious. This is a vintage Tyrus a uh, Pyrex um, casserole, or we call it cacotte in French. And this lid is in very nice condition, the inside as well. I don't think it ever, ever saw a dishwasher. It is the um, Tuscan Vegetable Collection. And we can see here underneath Pyrex. I paid, uh, including my discount, I paid $6 for it. So that's really good. I'll probably go on eBay and Etsy in the neighborhood of $26 to uh, $28. Next up, we have uh, this uh, clear crackle glass bowl. I do believe it is vintage. Very, very pretty. And I don't know if you know that, how crackle glass is made. Some of you, or probably most of you know, but for those of you who don't, it's when the glass is very, very, very hot at a specific temperature and the glass maker will dunk that in some very cold water. It'll make the first layer of uh, glass crack and do this beautiful design. So this is how it is made. And uh, this is uh, $3.50, so I paid around $2.25 for it. That includes my discount. I really like that. You could put a tea light or um, just to put like jewelry in your bedroom. Very cute. Uh, here is a faux turquoise um, bracelet. It is in a very nice condition. The elastic is not dry at all, but it is still tight and not dry. So I'm, I'm very stretchy. It's good. It's in good condition. And I paid uh, around, again, $225 for that. So maybe I paid a little more, more like $250 for this and $225 for that. Very nice, very nice bracelet. Now, the bag of cutlery that I picked up is this one here. It is incomplete, but still a pretty good deal for the money that I paid for. We have here eight forks, eight uh, tablespoons, eight knives. There are six teaspoons, seven dessert forks, and here there's a pickle fork and the butter knife. Now, uh, the knives here, I have noticed that three of them, this one, this one, and this one, have a little bit of wear and damage from the dishwasher, I would think, just around the edge. But nevertheless, this set is a stainless steel set, definitely vintage from the mid-70s to late-70s, and it is made by uh, North 
craft. I don't think the camera will pick that up. Maybe not, but it's North Craft and it is um, something that I did a few comps online and it's something that goes for a good price. I think, if I remember correctly, I saw a set of six forks selling for $20. So we can figure out that this is probably going to bring in uh, good money. And I believe uh, discount included, I paid a total of $7 for all that. Now this is the womp womp sad part of my th of my thrift uh, uh, sh uh, trip at the uh, mission today. This is the set where the uh, the cashier accidentally broke one of the glasses. Uh, it was that little purple one that goes with it. And these are cordial glasses and they do very well for me online. Um, this I think it's the fourth or fifth set that I get and they, they, they sell kind of quickly. So I'm very sad about it. I may hold on to them for a little while, try to find the purple one that's missing. Or if you've noticed, this one here is same shape. So I might just sacrifice this one and sell it as a set. Maybe I'll put that there, it looks nicer like that. There we go. So I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. But uh, the price was right. I mean, it was yellow tag, so 25% plus my 25% as a seniors. So I, it was 50% off, so I paid a dollar each. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. And then these, they were $1.50 minus my 25%, so that's good too. And then you, we have those two little glasses. They're too small to be martini glasses. I'm not quite sure what kind of bar glasses these are. We'll look it up and find out more and these were green tags so they were 25 percent plus my 25 percent <laughs> that's crazy and so i paid a dollar each and these two are either very small wine glasses i would think anyway it's very very nice it seems like these any any kind of colored glasses do very well and especially the ones with the uh, colored stem so um so i think these will do well as well so 150 each minus my 25 <laughs> percent i hate saying it but i'm so happy about it all the time and then these oh, i'll just push that i don't want to break one so these are very nice uh, weaved, brand new placemats, very springy, very nice soft springy or summer colors, and they are in excellent condition. Definitely have not been washed brand new. And they're made from the company Blossoms and Blooms, made in India. So I think that's a nice addition for your your patio uh, furniture outside when you have guests. Very nice. And um, these will probably be going in the neighborhood of $14 to $16 for the set. Now, I am not big on clothes. I have some clothes for sale in shoes and purses on Poshmark. But, eh, you know. It doesn't sing to me. But these, when I saw those, I just, I couldn't resist. I, I said, I'll take a chance. So these are loafers for women from Clark's Bendable. They look to be very comfortable. They have not or hardly have been worn. And yes, the big 1099, but I'll make that disappear. And uh, they are a size 10. Very, very nice condition. I mean, they look to be patent leather. They're not, I don't think they're real patent leather, but um, yeah, very nice condition. Then these, I just couldn't resist. They're like clogs, uh, cowboy boots. Look at these, they're really cute. I probably would have kept them for me, but they're a size six, just a teeny tad too small for me. And uh, they are, it doesn't say, Mm -hmm. It doesn't say where they're coming from, but yeah, size six. This is synthetic, but this is real suede. And they have this wooden heel, in good condition too, hardly worn, I think. So yeah, that, that was a win situation here. 
Now this guy, <laughs> this guy, um, well, on my way back home, still crying about the little glass that was broken, <laughs> Um, I stopped by uh, a guy who was finishing a garage sale, which I wasn't aware of. I guess that is the first garage sale of the season in my area because pff, there's none. I mean, we just barely, we, a few days ago, we had a big ice storm. So, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But apparently uh, he sold quite a bit. So this was still on the table and I purchased that for 25 cents. It was like... 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so he was closing up shop. And um, I do believe these are from the McDonald's uh, toys and that it dates back from the early to mid-1990s. It doesn't say anything about it in the back, but I'll look them up online, I'm pretty sure. These are from the Disney Dinosaur uh, TV show. This little dinosaur, I uh, looked online just before I started this video, and uh, he goes for about $20. So I'm really happy that I only paid uh, 25 cents, you know. And he's, 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 yeah, he moves. I don't know. It's just, there's people, there's a market for it. There's people collecting that. So, so that's, you know, I picked it up. So all that together and not including um, the five or six pieces of clothing that I picked up for BBG. So I think all together it cost me about $45, $48 in the neighborhood of that. So I'm quite happy about that. I'm sure I'll have a good turnaround. And uh, this is uh, the haul for this week. Now, I think next week I'm going to start, instead of you having a nice wall and doors and all that stuff, I'm going to start filming myself, showing you the things, you know, like up close and uh, trying to find a good setup here. I am in a small place and the inventory room, well, it's an inventory room. <laughs> You don't really want to, you don't want, really want to film in there. So I'm going to figure out something, but I want to try to be a little bit more um, on camera for you as I show uh, these things. And uh, until I see you next week, we'll go thrifting again. If there are garage sales next Saturday, I might just do that. So I'll be uh, seeing you very, very soon. If you are a new viewer, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And I wish you a very nice week and I'll see you the next time. À la prochaine tout le monde!